Hi, this is Cam and welcome or welcome back to my luxury channel where I don't edit, I don't have the greatest equipment, my thumbnail's not so good, my lighting can be off if it's not a sunny day, um, but I love luxury, I like contemporary, I like jewelry, I like style, I like clothing, I like everything that everybody else likes. So if you're okay with not such professional videos, then this is the place to be. Please subscribe down below and help my channel grow. So, quick backstory. I'm always late to the party. There was this item that I've been um, really wanting for a while, but I'm not gonna say too long because it just recently came out, I think. I'll also have you know that I'm not very savvy. I don't follow luxury uh, to a T. I don't always know the right names of things. I don't, you know, I can't describe to you the, the style numbers and names and, you know, the material and what's better, what's worse. Uh, I, no, I'm not. I'm not any of that. I just like things and I and if it's pretty, I'm going to buy it and I'm going to wear it. So there was this item by Louis Louis Vuitton. Probably not saying that right, but I was thinking of Missy from Mims Beauty and Luxury when I said that. And I will link her channel down below. Um, this Louis Vuitton item that came out recently, and I think it was recently, and I was like, oh my God, I love it. And you know what? I saw it for the first time on Candy's channel, Candy's Sweet Love for LV, and I will link her channel down below. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, that is so nice. So I run over to the site, and nothing's available. Of course nothing's available because it was probably out for like weeks. Um, and, you know, of course I keep looking. It's not available. Will it become available? I have no idea. So what do I do? Just browsing and I see that they're available on different platforms. One of which is eBay. If you've been following my channel, you know I'm not a huge fan of buying pre-owned pre-loved not that i don't want a pre-owned item i'm okay with that i don't trust that it's going to be authentic i don't trust that um so i'm very very cautious when i buy something i always want to make sure that i have you know a full set of everything that i get receipts um the the box the care cards i like to know where it came from um if you're if someone is the first owner and they have everything which they should then it's not an issue. So it's not about that I don't want somebody else's item that's been used. I'm okay with that. I just want to make sure that it's authentic. Um, so I, I dabble in fashion file a lot because I could buy things and put them on reserve and pay it out. Makes it, things easier because I'm not Rockefeller and I need to, you know, pay things out every now and again. So I digress. Let me just unbox this. I was late to the party and I wanted this very badly and I didn't think I was going to find it in LV again. So I decided to buy it from a seller on eBay. And what I look for when I buy on eBay is, um, and I know everyone says buy from Japan, the Japan Japanese sellers are usually the most, um, uh, the safest bet because they're very, very strict there. However, I know people personally that have gotten, um, scammed so i don't think it has to do with actually the seller you just have to know what you're getting and what i liked about this seller is that he had like i don't know over 2500 sales with 99 percent positive um and to me that is a pretty good thing and when you you know i just he was not a Japanese seller. I believe he was from the U.S. And like I said, he was. He had a couple of these. These were going for way higher than what I paid, but I did pay above retail. Yes, I did. I don't like to do that. I'm trying to get in the box. I don't like to do that because it just makes me feel like I've been scammed just from the get-go. Not from the seller, but just the fact that I would be dumb enough to buy something that costs more than what the boutique is selling it for. 
I did. It wasn't astronomical. It wasn't crazy more, but I also paid because it was under $500. You don't get authenticity. You don't get it authenticated through eBay. So I paid the additional 40 bucks to have it authenticated because I, I just wanted to make sure. So I paid a little more than retail and an additional $40 to have it authenticated. So let's see how this, oh, look at this. Double box, that's, that's unusual. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I see what they did. This person I, sends it to eBay, they open it and then they put it in another box I guess that's what they did so okay I don't want to show it doesn't have my address it has the seller's address on there which is good to know because if it's deemed um, fake at a later date for whatever reason I have the address of the seller so I could just kind of go there <laughs> I'm kidding I'm kidding okay oh Oh, see, now this I didn't know. I did not know that it was coming in the Louis Vuitton package. I, I didn't know that. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming this guy, girl, bought a few of these when they first came out and said, hey, these are going to be good. I'm going to buy a few of them, and then I'm going to sell them above retail and make some money. And he sure is... He sure as crap is making money. But here you go anyway. I said, do you have the receipt? He's like, yeah, I have everything. Um, he did. He does. He has the card here. Did he have the, is it the ribbon? Of course, he didn't send the actual receipt, which is kind of understandable. I mean, that's his personal receipt. Um, but I, I'm pretty convinced that this is that this is um, authentic. So it's in the original Louis Vuitton box, and then eBay puts it in their dust bag. Just I guess because you send it to them, and then it's in another Louis Vuitton box. Where's the eBay? Um, maybe it's inside. I don't know because I've done this once before, but it automatically got authenticated because it was over 500. This is going back um, a couple of years ago, I guess. I don't remember. Um, so maybe I don't know what this is. Let's see. Okay, are you ready to see what I got? I'm gonna have to go on my phone to tell you the name of this because I don't even remember the name of it, and that's kind of embarrassing that I'm not prepared. I looked before I came on the video, but but I forgot. It's been five minutes and I forgot. Okay, here we go. Are you ready to see what I got? I am so excited to have this piece. I wasn't going to buy a large item, although there was something I did really want. But again, three grand, nah, not doing it, not doing it. Okay, here's the eBay authentication card saying that it is authenticated. Are you ready? Okay. This is the cutest thing ever. It's not just cute, it's pretty. It's pretty. This is the What is it? It is, oh I don't have my glasses with me. It is the Tyler the Creator Craggy Monogram Dog 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 Dog. Do you know where I'm from? Dog. <laughs> uh, dog Holder Brown. You want to know something funny about this? This is so cute. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What I loved with the colors. Oh, it has, see, he even, he even included the little tag that you get from the Louis Vuitton store when you buy it. So, um, yeah, I have no doubt that this is authentic. Um, and I have no doubt that I paid more than I should have, but I did. But I have it. 
I have it. Um, these are going, people are selling these for like eight, nine hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars, eight hundred. That's just insanity. I paid a little over retail, which was insane enough, um, but I did, but I didn't pay anywhere near that. Like I said, it was under five hundred because I had to pay additional money to have it authenticated. Look how pretty this is. Now, let me tell you about this real quick. I had no idea, no idea that it had a dog on the canvas. I thought it was just the flowers and the LV. That's all. Look at this little dog. When I saw on eBay for the first time, I was looking at this on the Louis Vuitton site when I saw on eBay, on eBay, when I magnified it, I was like, oh my God, that's a dog. I was like, now I have to get it. I have to get it. I have to get it because it's a dog and I have Coco. Got to have a Louis Vuitton card holder with a dog on it. Look at this. Look how cute. Look how cute the little dog in the middle. I just, I just thought this was adorable. I just wanted a piece from the collection. I wanted something that had colors on it. I have the, the notebook that I'm not using that has colors and I absolutely adore it, adore it. And I wanted, I would have liked that in like a bag or a wallet or, or something. And they just, they, it wasn't available or whatever. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to go crazy. I want a piece. I'm going to get something small and reasonable and something that I can use because I will use this. Look again how cute this is. So it only has one. It only has three spots. So, you know, whatever. Three spots. One in the front, one here in the back, and the center. But you know what? When I use a card holder, all I use are one or two cards. And maybe I'll roll up in the center maybe one bill, one or two bills. So yeah, so this is it. This is what I got. I'm so excited. And while I have my bag of the day next to me, I'll show it to you because this will match really well with it. No, it's not a Louis Vuitton, but it will match so well because this is, this is, this is brown. This is my bag of the day. I use this today, which I absolutely love. You know when you have one of those bags that you're just not going to part with? I mean, there are people that just recycle. It's like recycling. They buy a bag, they sell it three months later. They buy a bag, sell it three months later. Buy a bag, three months later. I've sold a couple of bags through the last couple of years, but there are some bags in my collection that I will not sell, and this is one of them. I just, I just won't because I really love it. <laughs> um, not that I don't really love all my bags, but there are just some bags that I will never, um, I, I just don't touch. I don't, I don't grab for them. I don't think about them. This YSL bag in this deep, gorgeous brown, I use all the time. I use all the time. It's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And look how nice this goes. So nice looks really nice together so I'm really excited and I'm so happy that I got this and it came a lot earlier than expected and it's just it's just so pretty because I have it's great for the summer because it has pink and it has blue and it has like a cream and yellow just really so pretty look how pretty the little dog anyway so that is what I have for you today and that's pretty much it I'm not going to go any further. I'm almost uh, at 15 minutes. I try to stay under so I don't bore everyone to tears. So anyway, thank you so much for coming. And again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. It's free and it helps me. Have a great day and I will see you guys soon. Bye.